Hey, I wanted to um, talk to you a little bit today about uh, a group of animals that are really common in the tropics uh, by the ocean. Uh, they live in the intertidal zone between the point where the tide is high and the tide is low and they come out only when the tide is gone, only uh, when the beach is exposed and they're called fiddler crabs and they're a really interesting group uh, for me. I've been studying them for maybe almost 30 years. Uh, and they're interesting for the kinds of things they do. And they're really easy to study. All you need is a lawn chair and a cold drink, uh, and you can watch what they do. And one of the kinds of questions, one of the things they do that's most interesting, they're known as fiddler crabs, and why fiddler crabs are also known in German, uh, if there's any, uh, any of you that speak German watch, watching this as Winkerkrappen, which means waving crab. And that's one of the interesting things they do. The males wave their, their great big claw. And here's a, a picture of some of the species I've been studying. Uh, this is uh, a little fiddler crab called yucca, which is the name of the genus Terpsichores. And that last word is a big, is a big handful, but it means it's Greek, and, and it's the muse or the spirit that controls dancing. So this is the dancing fiddler crab. Uh, but the males will be by burrows, and they are trying to influence the female to come and mate with him as opposed to the neighbor. And they do that by waving their claw. And the crabs uh, mate inside the burrow, and the female will use it as a nest while she takes care of her young before she releases them into the water at night. They also build uh, structures by their burrow out of sand. They do that by coming out, cleaning out the burrow, and then collecting sand and piling it up on one side. And the structures look a little bit like this. Uh, in fact, this is a cast made of a real uh, hood. 